Hello guys and uh, welcome to our tutorial. So in this lesson I'm going to show you guys how to um, use a different background. Okay, how to assign a file to the background. So we've got this um, little car in here. Alright, so we want to actually pu um, put a, f a background uh, like a um, just a file in the background so let me just bring up this file this is the file that I want to put in the background okay, I want the car to sit in here okay so let's just close this one and just bring it up <clears throat> so um, to do that to bring that car that uh, picture in the background we have to go to view image um, image plane import image okay and it's on our desktop and the file is bush jpg open so now we're happy we've actually managed to put it in the background all right but as you can see this um file is not sitting too well because um you can see there's a it's a it's a 64 by 480 but it's got um like empty space in there okay so to fix that we can just go into um view image plane and image uh, attributes image plane that one okay which is exactly this one that we've got on here and if we go down to placement you see you've got two options you've got fit to resolution gate which is that it fills up the whole view or fee, uh, fit to film gate which is that so uh, yeah we've got these two options um, that one and that one so uh, we'll just take it back to that one and uh, render it okay we've uh, rendered it now but this uh, car is still sitting on this plane this is just a normal um, NURBS plane it's nothing special just a normal NURBS plane to show you guys for tutorials purposes for tutorial purposes if that's a word <laughs> anyway yeah that's how it works but now what we want to do is to get this but to get the car we don't want the car to sit on this NURBS plane we want the car to sit in the grass in the bush okay but to be able to do that we have to um, assign the bush to the car okay it sounds impossible but anyway this is my for you you have to assign the bush to uh, not to the car so you have to assign the bush to the NURBS plane so what uh, Maya is going to do in the background it's going to paint the NURBS plane the same color as the bush and blend it in to make it look like the bush all right so let's do that let's just close that one and um, uh, select the plane uh, select the plane then when, once you select the plane cause we, we can click on uh, use background okay uh, select the plane and use background but um, when we when we do that the the plane we use whatever background that we've got whether it's anything that even if if the sky was in the background we'll use the sky if there was a a sky and the bush in the background it will use both of them you know it will work it out it will make sense guys so okay I'm gonna show you my my um, the way that I do it I just click on uh, use background this one but uh, it also pays to show you exactly where it is I might get it wrong guys but anyway rendering make sure it's rendering light and shading assign new material let's see um maybe that one nope assign new material yep I think that one then there should be a you yeah there it is use background we can click on that so it will use the background as you can see sample materials use background now if we actually render it again bear in mind that we're using mentor ray renderer okay but it doesn't matter again it doesn't matter you can use whatever renderer you've got I think let's try to use a Maya software renderer and see how that works out there you go it's sitting on the turf that's pretty cool Anyway, I like Mentor Renderer because apparently it's the best renderer. So <laughs> I'll get what they say. <laughs> oh yeah, what do I know? I only know what they teach me. Um, 
there you go we've got our little car in the bush but as you can see there's a background there's a white thin layer of uh, it looks like it's sitting on glass with a little uh, smoke in the background but anyway we have to get rid of that okay we, and we have to get rid of that shadow too because uh, it's like the car is reflecting okay we don't want that it's good we appreciate it but we don't want that for this tutorial so to get rid of that we just need to um, re, um, adjust the reflectivity bring it back to zero okay bring it back to zero and just render it again easy as that let's see how that works out guys come on yep there it is now our car is sitting in the bush okay we happy with that but bear in mind that um, you can fit it the way you want to fit it okay you can make it um, perfect you can trick it around like like uh, just like I did right now let's see render it again there it is it's pretty good now so yeah that's um that's my quick tutorial and uh, bear in mind that you can use target images uh, you can use um a clip like a movie in the background to make it uh, blend in so yeah you know you're not uh, restricted to um, this uh, GIF file or still files you can use um, you can use uh, movies in the background or a rolling target file whatever however you pronounce it TGA target whatever so you can use that in the background or you're not restricted so yeah that's my little tutorial guys and I hope you've learned something or advance or advance the next tutorial. And uh, Ben, in uh, two, I think well, I've got two more tutorials that I need to show you guys. After that, we'll move on to rendering, which is um, a little bit more fun than the rest of the things that we've been doing. So, hope you enjoyed the tutorial and see you in the next one. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. Thanks.